السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الله أكبر الله All praises is due to Allah and may peace and blessing be upon the most noble of the prophets Muhammad وسلم, and all the other messengers. Brothers and sisters in Islam, our topic today is about changes that we as humans go through during the life cycle and the opportunities that it comes with. As humans, we change throughout our lives from the day that we are born to the day that we die. Allah tells us in the Quran in Surah 40, al rafir verse 67, that it is He who created you from dust, then from a sperm drop, then from a clinging clot, then He brings you out as a child. Then he develops you that you reach your time of maturity. Then further that you become elders. And among you is he who is taken in death before that. So that you reach a specified time. 
and perhaps you will use reason. The above verse clearly lists the different stages in the human cycle. It reminds us that not everyone amongst us live <laughs> to grow old. Our time on earth is predetermined by Allah. The focus of the khutbah is really a reminder of some of the opportunities we have during the stages. And Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us in a hadith to take care, take benefit, to take advantage of five things before they are replaced by another five. He advised us to take care of our youth before we, age, we become old, to take care of our health before we fall ill, to take care of our wealth before we become poor, to take care of our um, free time before we become preoccupied, and to take care of our lives before we die. With regards to the age, one of the things that most people take for granted is their youth. When people are young, they're full of energy and are capable of doing so many things for the sake of Allah. But often, we see that this energy is wasted in one way or another. <clears throat> when people lose their youth, they inevitably find it harder to do certain deeds and acts of worship that they found somewhat easier at a younger age. With old age, people may, for example, find it harder to keep obligatory fast. They may not be able to perform wudu and salah properly or have enough energy to read the Quran. He asks us to take care of our health before we become sick. Our deen advises us to take advantage of our health before we lose it. When we're in good health, we should not take it for granted. We must appreciate what we have. It is only when we fall ill that we realize what a great thing we have. And regret not doing more when we're um, well and healthy in the sight of Allah. Now that we have our health, sometimes we find ourselves making excuses for missing optional prayers or for not making time to recite or memorize the Quran. We need to be aware of the fact that there's no guarantee of good health. There's so many things that can go wrong. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also advised us to take care of our wealth before poverty. Wealth is another blessing granted to us by Allah. And in this context, it doesn't necessarily refer to having a lot of money in the bank or material wealth as we may see. The simpler things such as roof over our heads, clothes on our backs and food in our fridges make us amongst the world's wealthiest people as there are some of our brothers and sisters around us and all over the world that do not even have a uh, you know, single meal to survive a single day and they don't know where tomorrow's meal is going to come from. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also advised us to take care of our free time before we become preoccupied. Islam ad Deen always encourages us to make the most of our time as it is the most precious commodity we have. We are all on earth, we are all alive for a fixed time, one that is only known by Allah, so we must try and make the best of it. We must do as much as we can to um, propagate the religion of Allah and gain Allah's spread and pleasure along the way. We must take the time, no matter how busy we are, to do what we can before we might come to a position that will mean we're, we, you know, we're a lot busier than we were. So if you're now studying, you're busy with your research, imagine how busier you will be if you have, when you have a full-time job and a family to look after for the ones that are not already there. So the advice is just to try and use as much time as we can in the sight of Allah. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also advises us to look after our life before death. Every night when we go to sleep, we enter a state where our souls leave us. When we wake up, it is only because Allah has blessed us by returning our souls and granting us the opportunity to worship Him for at least one more day. Upon waking in the morning, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to read the dua that translates into praise be to Allah who gave me life after giving me death and to him is the final return. Often we do not fully appreciate how great a blessing it is to be given another chance. We become relaxed about death 
and we don't fully comprehend or appreciate that some that at some point and Allah only Allah knows that time when we will actually leave this this life we must not forget what mercy life is we should use every moment to our best advantage this means pleasing Allah in order to achieve our ultimate goal of Jannah I pray that Allah grants us the tawfiq to make the most of all that he has blessed us with and that he accepts all our efforts أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه غفور رحيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم I mentioned us changing and our environment change changing with us as well. Days turn into nights, those same days turn into months and months turn into seasons. One of, those, one of the benefits that comes with these changes is the um, season of winter that we've now um, entered. <coughs> winter makes it easy for us to perform two, of, um, two actions that are very pleasing to Allah. Amongst winter's characteristics are the fact that there are longer nights and shorter days. The time between Isha and Fajr is long enough for us to have a good night's sleep and still be able to spend all or parts of the last third of the night in worship. Similarly, the day, because the time between Fajr and Maghrib is so short, it makes fasting for the sake of Allah very easy. Fasting, a virtuous deed, in, um, a virtuous deed <coughs> The, uh, so much so that Allah himself said every deed uh, mankind performs is for himself except for fasting which Allah will personally reward us for. We must use the opportunity to fast as much as we can and spend time in the night praying to Allah and supplicating with relative ease because like I said we can actually get a good night's sleep and still be able to wake up and do this. I pray that Allah grants us with the tawfiq to make the most of all our blessings that we've been given and that He guides us and keep us on the straight path and make us die at the point when He's most pleased with us. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayyuhan ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama sallayta ala ibrahim وعلى علي إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى علي محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى علي إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد إباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يأذكم لعلكم تذكرون أذكروا لا لأذم يذكركم واشكروه يزيدكم واستغفروه يغفر لكم واتقوا يجعل لكم من أمركم مخرجا أقيم الصلاة